President Donald Trump once again took swings at criticism he received about golfing over the weekend amid the coronavirus pandemic, calling the media deranged and deflecting complaints onto his predecessor, Barack Obama. The fake and totally corrupt news makes it sound like a mortal sin, I knew this would happen, he tweeted Monday following news coverage of him hitting the links in Virginia as the nation's COVID-19 death toll neared 100,000. It was his first time golfing since he declared the pandemic a national emergency. Trump went on to say that the media was sick with hatred and dishonesty and truly deranged. He then attacked Obama's own golfing habits as well as those of former vice president and presumed Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden, saying the latter has a poor work ethic. His insults and complaints were similar to ones he tweeted on Saturday. However, Trump managed to dodge the fact that he has also incessantly criticized Obama for playing golf while he was in the White House. In one interview Trump gave in 2014, he suggested that the game is entirely unpresidential. When you're president, you sort of say, I'm going to give it up for a couple of years and I'm going to really focus on the job, he told Fox News. Can you believe that, with all of the problems and difficulties facing the US, President Obama spent the day playing golf, Trump tweeted that same year. I play golf to relax. My company is in great shape. At Barack Obama plays golf to escape work while America goes down the drain, he wrote on Twitter a few years earlier, in 2011. Trump, who is an avid Twitter user, had similarly said that he would no longer tweet during his presidency. After three years in office, he has already spent 270% more days on a golf course than Obama had at the same point in his first term, a HuffPost analysis found. Form HuffPost.